Besides, Wendy's still trying to stir up some drama. But that's what Wendy does, and that's why she's feuded with people even like Tupac. See, the media, they make me act like I would act. I'm in jail, they reporting that I'm getting in jail. Wendy, who notoriously spread rumors about various musicians and hip-hop artists, hopped on the radio and said that Tupac was R-worded in prison. <gasps> of course, that did not bode well with him. He was in prison for S.A., uh, to, to give you guys some context. But she claims that he was R-worded in prison by another prison mate and spreading that on the radio. In an interview, he actually brought up Wendy, saying that he doesn't really have any beef with anyone in the industry. The only beef he has is with Wendy Williams because she said that he got R-worded in jail and he felt that disrespected him and his family and what he represented. See, the media, they make me act like I would act. I'm in jail. They reporting that I'm getting in jail. I'm sitting in jail is banging on my door going, Pah! When? When? Why you ain't saying that? What's going on? I'm talking about, I got shit. Ain't this... You did an interview with somebody you said today. Right? Yeah. Just about that, right? No, I didn't, I didn't even talk to them. They got that from somebody else. This other life. So Tupac does not like Wendy Williams, and he's made that very clear, and he's actually rapped about her before. They claim the song, Why You Turn Me On, is a diss record about Wendy Williams, and the second verse is specifically about her. He wrote, all my old friends busy now, my money gone, said I got R-worded in jail, picture that revenge is payback, B-word, get your something. Uh, Wendy Williams, I pray you choke on the next D. Wow. Um, he also included lines directing Wendy Williams to go to Jenny Craig and referred to her as a fat troll. Said I got in jail. Picture that. We ain't just a payback. She took ass. Wendy Williams and I'm praying back on the next down your throat. For turning on me. So you guys know, Wendy Williams was probably honored to be mentioned in one of his songs. But after he died, she actually stayed away from talking about him. Though she has admitted to accepting his payback track, in an interview, she expressed that she appreciated the attention she got. Wendy said, quote, I love any time somebody mentions me. Thank you, Tupac. Without those song mentions, I might not be on TV right now. There's a large segment who may never have heard about me on the radio, but they heard Tupac tell me I needed to go to Jenny Craig or Mariah Carey telling me that I'm all up in her business. So I love them for that. And that is something about being a reporter, being a journalist, being a TV or a social media personality. If you can have that engagement with those celebrities, it kind of legitimizes your playing field. Now, one person we need to talk about is Diddy because Wendy has been warning us about Diddy for a very long time. Wendy Will said she had him in a compromising position and like he was gay porn or something like that. Back in 1998, she was on radio and suggested that Diddy might be gay. Once news got to Diddy, he was so offended by the accusations, which, hmm, if it's not true, then why are you so defensive? But Anyways, he started having a full-on feud with her and was determined to get her fired. Now, Wendy received a photo of a man allegedly pulling down Diddy's shorts while he was on vacation in Cancun. She saw this photo, and that's what prompted her to bring up this theory that he may be into the men. Here's one of Diddy's former employees talking about what exactly happened. And he told a story about Wendy Williams. She got fired from Hot 97 because she had a picture of Puffy, and she was saying on air that she was going to reveal the picture. We were in Cancun. For whatever reason, dude was playing with Puff. He went behind him and grabbed his trunks and pulled them down. When he grabbed his trunk to pull them down, some girls then was taking pictures. They took the, that picture and emailed it back to Wendy Wills. <laughs> Wendy Wills said she had him in a compromising position and like it was gay porn or something like that. She was going to put it out. Puff told Hot 97 if they didn't get rid of her, before he got back in New York, that they was not going to get any music from any of his friends, any of the record labels executives that was cool with him. Before we landed back in New York, Wendy Williams was in the radio station in Philly. She was fired. The amount of power that Diddy has had for decades is so frightening. I'm, I wonder how many people who have been fired by him over the years and people who aren't even public figures. When talking about homophobia and hip hop, Wendy was quoted saying, there was a radio personality once upon a time. Her name was Wendy Williams and she was practically burnt at the stake for talking about such. 
now it's all come full circle. Which is interesting to see how Wendy was a part of so many stories that have played out. I mean, even the Diddy one. She's been calling out his bad behavior for years now. Uh, there was a radio personality once upon a time. Her name was Wendy Williams. And uh, she was practically burned at the stake for um, talking about such. And now it's all come full circle. Diddy was so enraged with Wendy and the fact that she could hop to another radio station, you know, a, a lesser one, but continue to work and talk about him, infuriated him. And he actually sent a girl group that he managed to go and beat her up. Wendy said once upon a time, she always says once upon a time, but there was a music mogul, Diddy, who sent his all girl group to beat my butt in front of the radio station. She said, I got off of the air one day and them, her, their names were total B words, uh, were downstairs and everybody was upstairs at the radio station looking down, egging it on, waiting for something to go down. She explained her boyfriend at the time prevented anything from happening. Here's a clip of Wendy telling this story. I remember I got off the air one day and them, <laughs> them total bitches were downstairs waiting and everybody upstairs at the radio station was looking down, egging it on, waiting for something to go down. I wasn't yet married. My knight in shining armor screeched up in his car just out of nowhere. Didn't even know. I didn't even know what was about to happen. Skell hiding like a girl. <laughs> Thanks, Skell. I'm standing in the door like what? And I'm literally about to go through. Now, I'm not like what? Like what? Let's fight because I'm not one of those type of broads. And plus, there was three of them. The little Chinese man that drove the van. They were coming. There was no security or anything. It was just them three fighting broads. And me. And my co-workers at shot standing upstairs trying to look down to see it all jump off. They all knew. When I said goodnight to everybody, everybody's pressed up against the window. I didn't even walk or bother asking, what are you all looking for? Because, you know, when the clock strikes, it's time to go. It is time to go. Nobody rushes out of a place faster than me. And ain't nobody put you on? No! That's what I'm saying. Nobody put me on. They're all pressed up against the window looking down. <laughs> Those are some bad co-workers who are just going to wait and watch your downfall. Knowing what the hell was about to happen. I, I didn't get a chance to hit the sidewalk. You know what I'm saying? Before I knew it. Ah! Out of nowhere. Nobody called. It, it's not even like he knew. I just, it was just like weird. Almost like karma. Next thing I know, he's out of the car and uh, there's a whole bunch of rah-rah going on outside. And I'm still trying to figure out what the hell is going on. And I send Cower and Skell out on the sidewalk, and he comes back in and says, it's total outside, and they were, they were about to set it on you. Wendy admits that her feud with Diddy was kind of not worth it. I mean, she said that he put her through hell. She said, I'll never forget, but I don't hate him for it. If you guys want more about Wendy and Diddy, we've got some videos on my main channel, but we have to talk about her feud with Beyonce.